Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Skitsy YT. Uh, I know I haven't been posting for a while. I'm gonna start regularly posting now with art videos, skit videos, and much more to come. In this video, we're gonna be creating a painting that shows a peacock with its feathers sprawled out. I really love this painting because of the contrast between the dark colors and the light colors. I think that's absolutely beautiful, so let's get into it. Materials that you're going to be needing for this painting is paint, obviously. Um, the colors of the paints that you're going to be needing is at least one or two uh, shades of green. I have two with me right now. Uh, Kelly, I have Kelly Green and I have uh, Limeade. These two are really pretty colors and I can just um, add some black to them if I want to make some darker colors. But these two are good for now. Uh, the next color that you're going to be needing is some yellow. My yellow is a little bit dark, so I'll add some white to it later on um, to make it more of like a neon yellow. You're also going to be needing some pink or red. It doesn't matter which one. Um, honestly, for half of these, you can choose which color you want, but I'm just saying uh, with the guide that I'm following that these colors are the best. Um, you're also going to be needing some white. The white is pretty important, so that's kind of necessary. And definitely you're gonna be needing some blue. Um, I'm probably gonna try to use some Admiral Blue. I might put some white in it because this is quite uh, dark. Um, and you should have at least one or two shades of blue, but if you don't, just kind of just blend colors together and figure it out. Uh, you also will need some black. Black right here. I'm using this one. I think it's called pavement. I think it's more of a dark gray, but that's okay. Oh, uh, the next material is a cup to hold water in. I'm just using this steel cup right here. Put some water in there. Um, you're gonna be needing that to wash your uh, paintbrushes off. You're gonna need you. This is optional, but I prefer using paper towels because I don't like it when my uh, paintbrushes get wet after I wash them. You're definitely gonna be needing a paint palette. Um, I'm using this one right here. It doesn't matter if it's dirty or clean as long as the paints are, um, on it are dry. Uh, you're going to be needing a paintbrush. I have this one with me. I also have a lot more, um, like this one. And this. Uh, make sure that you have one uh, thick one and you have one thin one. And lastly, you can use a paper or canvas to paint on. I'm using a canvas today. What we're going to do is we're going to actually start painting. Let's just uh, go ahead and take some of our green paint. I'm using Kelly Green, which is the darkest paint I have, but I'm sure my, most of you have something darker. Just put that onto your paint palette, just like I did right here. Uh, I have mine right here. And if you try to go for sort of more of a dark green, so just try to make different shades of green on your palette. So I got one that's just Kelly Green. I'm gonna make another one that's Kelly Green plus a little bit of the black that I had. Let me just put that on. Here we go, and let me mix it. That's nice. So now, as you can see, I have a better shade of green. This is a pretty dark shade of green, actually. Um, that's what we what I wanted it to be. And now just keep creating shades of green um, until you have at least four. So I have uh, four different shades of green. This is the limeade color that I had. Uh, this is like my lightest shade. This is the darkest shade I have. This was the one that I mixed black and some green with it. Um, this is my medium shade, I guess. Um, this is just the uh, Kelly Green. This is just normal Kelly Green. And then this is Kelly Green with a little bit of blue in it. It's a little bit darker than uh, the Kelly Green. So now what we're going to start doing is we're going to paint circles of different shades around it. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our darkest color. And use definitely use a thick paintbrush for this. It's really not going to work if you use... Um, a thin one. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna take this, we're gonna start in the middle, we're just gonna create a circle, just like that. I know it looks odd, but it's gonna look okay in some time. Um, and now just take the next your lightest color, your next lightest uh, color, just paint another circle around it, kind of fix your circle a little bit if it looks weird, just like that. And now in the middle, take like maybe like the lightest color and paint another circle around it. Um, now I'm gonna take my Kelly Green, 
paint another circle. Paint another circle. Just keep painting circles so that you have a uh, so you just have different shades of gray in circles. Um, and yeah, just keep doing that. Alright guys, it's all dry now. I changed the lighting so you guys can see the green better. I realized it did look a little blue before, but now, um, as you can see, there's such a contrast of the light colors and the dark colors. Um, once it's dry, you have to make sure it's dry. Please don't start painting on a wet canvas because it, it can become a whole mess if you do that. Um, the next color that we're going to use is the blue for the peacock. Um, and as you can tell, uh, as most of your canvases are probably like this, um, you probably can't see the pencil mark that you made before. That's okay. Um, we, we can't redraw it right now because that might ruin the painting. Um, so we can just kind of just eyeball it, you know? Um, the peacock. So it's going to be the same shape as before, but first let's get our colors together. Um, like I mentioned before, we're going to use the Admiral Blue. Um, I'm just going to add some white to it because I feel like it's a little bit darker than I want it to be. Just a little bit though because it should be a pretty dark color. Like you cannot use something like this because like not sky blue because we really do need it to be a darker color. Because that's what color peacocks are. Let me just mix some white in that. Oh and for this one we are going to need a thinner paintbrush. I will probably use this one. You can use a medium paintbrush too if you don't have a thinner one. That's oh, that's the perfect color. Okay, so I have a really nice color right here. I actually might need to make this a little bit darker. And also, you do need to have two shades of the colors um, because for the painting on the right side, it's going to be a little bit lighter than the left side. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a nice color. So this is the color that I have right now. This is what most of you need. So let's start painting. I could pause the video right now if you need any more time to, you know, paint it or anything. Let's begin. So on the bottom, it's a lot more um, thicker on the bottom. So let's sort of, um, okay, you have to be really careful and make sure you're on the middle of the canvas. Let's start like that, and then I made I made kind of a mark where I sort of wanted to start, and let's just do this and up. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some more paint. Looks a little wobbly right now, but we can always fix that. The part is getting the format right. So just like that. Uh, make sure your lines are nice and neat. Just don't make them too bumpy. And what we're going to do is do this. And then we're going to do like an oval shape right here. It should be an oval. And it can't be too thick either. And then we're going to take the oval and then make this really thin. And kind of make it thick as it goes down just like that. And now just start painting the inside. Keep paint, keep painting it. Um, as you go to the, um, as you keep going to the right, make sure to make your colors a little bit lighter, just like that. Um, and now we have to wait for this to dry. And while that does dry, and now it's time for like the bright colors. This looks really dark, uh, doesn't it? So now we're just gonna add some really bright colors to make it look really pretty. So for this one, we're gonna need mostly some white. Um, I'm just using the Appleberry, you know, normal white. And let's put that on the can. Let's put that on the palette. And this is just the part where you get to be creative. Um, what you have to do is just take um, your paintbrush and just make some random lines across here, just like that. And make just kind of just. Yeah, you, you have to fix them a little bit, but just anywhere you want to. You can make a line just like that. I'll be right back after all my lines are done.
So once you're done with the white part, you can start working on some of the details for the peacock. Um, I know most of the, for most of you, like the blue part hasn't dried yet, but you can make um, details on the outside. I made like a black border around one of, um, around the left side of the peacock. And also I, I made like this bouquet of flowers on his head. This is just one of those details that peacocks have on their heads. Not sure why, but it's there. So you can just add it. It look nice. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna add some light, nice blue to it. Some light blue, like that. And yeah, now just keep working on that, and then we'll work on the next part after everything else is dry. Now let's start working on the feathers. Um, this is just gonna have to overlap with the white part right here, the white lines a little bit. So make sure those are completed. Uh, now for what? Uh, you just have to keep repeating this process all around. But I'll make the first one. Um, what you have to do is like kind of make like a cocoon shape just like that over here and now take some a little mixture of red and white and put that just like this on here and now on the other side of that take some yellow make sure it's really light yellow and put it around like that over there and now we're gonna take some nice blue and we're gonna put that in the middle and then to end it all up uh we're just gonna take some black put it right here um now you have a choice on which color scheme you want to do you don't have to do red um yellow and blue but just keep working on it and make sure just you can put them in random spots all around the uh, all around the painting. 